All right, hello everybody. This is the CS50 games track. This is CS50, I should say. And uh, this is the Super Mario Brothers half of the track where we take a sort of break away from the rectangles and text of Pong, which is starting to get a little bit austere, although the nice music we add at the end helped things out a little bit. And we're going to dive into much more colorful graphics, specifically in this case, raster graphics, uh, bitmap graphics. So in this case, PNG files is what we're going to be using as our, as our sprite sheet here. And you can see we have an alien creature instead of Mario, so we're not really using the Mario assets per se. We're really using something that's a little bit more open source. Um, but the same idea holds true. We have tiles there at the bottom of the screen. We have an avatar. We have blocks that you can jump and hit, which we'll look at later on. We got clouds and bushes using the same sort of texture, actually, as we'll take a look at. That's what they did for the actual Mario game itself, Super Mario Brothers, interestingly. Um, but yeah, and we'll also take a look at how to generate a level like this randomly, procedurally, so not, not truly random in that sense, um, but in a way that makes it look like it was handcrafted. Some of the topics, again, just to reiterate, sprite sheets and raster graphics instead of rectangles and text, purely text. We'll look at tile maps, so how to actually represent a game world using numbers, essentially, which map to the sprite sheet that we're going to import, and we're going to chop it up into little bits and pieces and then map the numbers to sort of quads, rectangles of that sprite sheet. We'll look at how to implement gravity and jumping so our avatar can emulate what a platformer feels like. Animation such that the avatar isn't just a static image moving around, but actually looks like it's walking and has a jump animation, etc. And again, procedural generation for how to actually generate levels so we don't have to go into a level editor and handwrite the levels ourselves.